Well, 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 Mr. 6 9 isn't this something? This is, this is crazy, guys. All right, so I did a video talking, you know, talking about the Breakfast Club interview with Mr. 6 9 However, I was up late last night, and I was doing research on other projects that I'm working on, and I come across one simple picture, one simple paragraph that made me look into Mr. 6 9 and see who he really is and why he's here. And man, oh man, yes, he is the number one Illuminati puppet. I am so sorry to my subscribers, you know, because y'all know how I give it up. Y'all know how I give it up when it comes to these type things. But I never even seen a photo of him, like, to know that he had the number sixes all over his body. I mean, all over his arms. Look at his fingers. It's on there multiple times, you know what I mean? And not only that. He's allowed to do and say whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And we all know how it works. Once you become a millionaire and you're considered the number one celebrity, the number one on a billboard, all this type of crazy stuff, you cannot do and say what you want. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B, she does her thing in her own way. As far as doing what you want, saying what you want, she is way more subtle than this guy. And um, he's blatantly you know, part of the Illuminati. And and while y'all may not know what the real Illuminati is, he's on the darker side of the Illuminati. So if you want to know, yes, there's a light side. Yes, there's a dark side. How do I know this? Research, okay? He is an Illuminati puppet, but he's number one. The only other artist I know that does and says... Matter of fact, 50 Cent doesn't even do too much. He just says what he wants whenever he wants. Like, he'll just roast somebody out of nowhere. But he's nowhere near reckless as this uh, Mr. 6 9 here. He walks around like he's just untouchable. Nobody but not... What is it? Test my gangster? That's what, that's what his um campaign is. Test my gangster. I'll come to any city and I dare you to test my gangster. And he goes around bragging because no one has ever tested his gangster and they never will. See, when you make statements like never will, that just gives, you know, people ammunition to come at you when they see you. You know, I seen a, that video about uh, of the fake brawl that he had outside the airport. Whoever thought that was real, you must be crazy. Now, when it was popping up in my headlines at the time, I wouldn't dare click on it. I just kept on scrolling past it. I seen it so much one day, I just closed YouTube out. But anyway, I finally really took a look at it. I said, wait a minute. So I seen millions of videos over this? That was not a real fight. Are y'all crazy? Wow. But it was set up for his whole campaign. He basically trying to say somebody tried to test his gangster and he didn't even have a scratch on his face. They didn't even do nothing. It was not a real fight. Wow. This, this shit is just crazy to me. Like, all of them sixes. But anyway, yeah, he um he, he just does whatever he wants, says whatever he wants. And for, you know, him not being touched, as he said, he will never be touched. I don't know how people are using these words of never being touched. I don't want them to. Of course, I don't want nothing to happen to anybody. But, I mean, you can't do that because it makes people want to do it. But the position he's in right now, I believe his security is deeper than we see on cam. You know, he could have two dudes with him, but you better believe it's going to be ten or 15 other people nearby to make sure nothing happens to him because of the position that he's in. Now, if at any time, you know, the puppet, you know, if any time they decide to cut those strings to the puppet, he's going to fall. And we all know how this goes. Who, wait a minute, who was it that said it? How did, um, who said it? Charlemagne. He said, we all seen this movie before. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We all seen this movie before. The tough gangster, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me. You know, they always end up taken out of here. You know, you can't do that. But for those who don't know, he is being protected until they no longer want to protect him. Nobody stays in the light that long. That's what people need to know. All right, example. Example. Nicki Minaj, when she was on top, you couldn't tell her that she would she would not be on top one day one day soon you could never tell her that somebody younger prettier and with more skills was going to come out and you know pass her leave her in the dust and, and silence her and i'm not and i mean to say like better as far as lyrics or anything it's just that cardi b can sell records in spanish and in english and that's gonna that's making the record labels way more money than what nikki could do just the fact that she could you know she's fluent in another language and can sing and rap in that language. That is major, you know? 
But um, yeah, nothing lasts forever. So you know, while he's living a fast life and you know talking the way he's talking, I just I just had to make this video. I'm sorry, okay, y'all. I have no problem admitting when I you know uh like say like I made the video about him. I have no problem coming back saying, listen, I might have made a mistake. Here's what I think now because I did further research. The plan was never to do research on Mr. Six Nine. That's the thing. I was working on other projects. I seen something that came up stating, you know, something that he said. Something he said out of his own mouth about how the Illuminati changed his life. And that's what made me dig into, well, who is this? What is he here for? What is he about for real? The, the music, the agenda, all of it is clear. Listen to the lyrics. Like, seriously, listen. Because yesterday when I did the video, I didn't listen to the full songs. I just did little snippets. And I said, okay. But listen to the lyrics if you want to know exactly what his agenda is. Shout out to all my people that's smart as hell and already knew what was up with him. You probably had time on your hands just to, you know, look into it. I've never, you know what I mean? But shout out to y'all. Um, But anyway, yeah, thanks for listening. I had to make this video because I have the other video up. And it's like, wow, you need to go back and tell these people what you know now. So it is what it is. I plan on having my Illuminati puppet video coming soon. Or I might just do it inside of this one. Hmm, let's see. Don't turn the video off just yet. I got something for y'all. Take a look.